What's up creator, I'm Josh and today we're diving into the different types of control net that would allow us to take a simple line drawing and turn it into a really cool work of art. It's going to be wild, let's go. And there are a couple things that we need to do. We're going to need a line drawing to start off. Within my gallery, I already have one that I have in mind for using this, kind of a very simple line drawing of a cliff, some waves, and some clouds in the sky. Super basic. It's a good starting point. But if we didn't have a line drawing, I could pull in one of these really cool images and bring it over into Control Net. And we could just choose the Sketch Preprocessor here. And you can see that it turns it into a line drawing. So using this sketch preprocessor within control net, you can turn any image into a line drawing to do this, but I'm going to go with the one that I already have. So let's open up our gallery again, exit this group and go into this one. I'm going to drag it over there. Now we don't need to use the sketch preprocessor because it's already a line drawing, but what we do want to do is invert it. We want a black background and white lines because we're going to get better results by doing it this way. Now let's open up our control net models. We have canny, we have line art, line art, anime and scribble, which we're all good at doing this. Let's start with canny though. Now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull all of the settings from the original image over here, but then I'm going to need to tweak some of them. So I'm going to close the guide image because we're not going to use that. I'm going to bring the, gu the guidance down. I had that really high because I wanted a really contrasty image, just black and white. I'm going to bring the number of steps down because <laughs> I don't know why I had it that high. That was way too high. I think that we can go with like 20 steps is plenty. And let's check our prompts. I'm going to go into my avoid prompt. I believe I had, we don't want kids or people or color or any of that stuff. I don't want, I want all of that stuff gone. We can just leave just that and then close the avoid prompt for style prompt. We don't want a line drawing, obviously. Let's do an oil painting and then close the style prompt. And then I just need to change the original prompt. Let's go with this one. Dramatic seaside cliff overlooking the sea, crashing waves, detail texture, dynamic lighting, fluffy clouds, dark and moody. I'm going to do a random seed here and we're going to generate four images. Let's see what we come up with. All right, we got some solid starts here. This is really nice, actually. I'm going to go ahead and expand my settings bar over here so that I can we can get a better look at the original image versus what we've created. Let's go ahead and switch it back to the original. So we can see that all of these are being pretty faithful to the original composition. We've got the cliffs on the left hand side, some fluffy clouds in the sky and then our waves here. These are all pretty consistent. I think I would probably like this one the most, although I love what it's doing with the clouds in this one. Let's go ahead and add that one. I like that. And let's switch this back to being inverted and let's use a different control net. I'm going to switch to line art in this case and scroll up and imagine. Now you can see that we're getting a very different style in this case. There is definitely some funkiness going on with line art. We, this has turned our fluffy clouds into floating islands. So we kind of have two different views of the ocean. So none of these are something that I would probably go with. Let's try a different one. Let's go to line art anime and imagine once again. I'm not sure how well the anime control net is going to work with the oil painting settings I chose, but that's what we're here for. Let's have fun with it. Even though this really changed the composition and kind of added cliffs on the left hand side, this one added a lot more kind of oil painting texture from what I can tell. I like how that one looks. This one though did a good, better job of making the actual like clouds look like clouds. And to be fair, these are kind of funky looking cloud. So it's it's not sure what to do with them. Now let's try once more. Let's go down to scribble and see what we can come up with here. Ooh, these are good. This is actually especially this first one. This one's definitely my favorite that we've done. That looks so good. Look at that. We've got much more detail on the cliff side, but it was still very true to the original composition. Let's go ahead and just upscale it this way. Ooh, I actually I think I'm just going to keep it at, at just like that. I think that's perfect. I like that. Let's add it to our gallery and I'm going to call that good. All right, I low key really like that oil painting. I just love that you can, the AI allows us to take these super simple drawings and turn them into anything that we want to. Just really, really cool works of art. I love it. Now it's your turn to so go create some really cool stuff. Make sure to share it with us on Discord and on our socials, and then I'll see you in the next one.